This is AJ Wood and I'm here doing a minty fresh app review for the good folks at TechMento. Today I'm going to talk about MacFun's FX Photo Studio HD. It is an iPad and iPhone app, so let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, so when you initial the Photo Studio HD app, you need to go and actually load an image. You can do this by picking from your photo album, the clipboard, or go to a documents folder. And if you scan through your camera roll, you can find the picture that you actually want to apply an effect to. So here's an image I have loaded, and you can see across the top menu, you can load a photo, you have the option to store it, you have a couple undo options. We have some basic tools which will let us crop, rotate, or resize the actual image. And the general options relate to the quality preview that you have or whether or not you want to hide some effects. You also have the ability to use the air print function and I could actually print across Wi-Fi. The key thing here for Photo Studio is it has a bunch of pre-built effects that are simply one click and play. They're sorted by showing you all with visual thumbnails but you can also see they're organized by category. So if I scroll through the category what you'll see because I can immediately jump to some image correction. If I thought this photo was a little bit too dark, I could go in and do some lightning on it. And you can see you just have a little fader. Some quick slide correction works out really well. If you like it, you simply hit apply and then you move on to your next effect. So I can go and change the contrast. There's even a little night vision effect if I want to see what that looks like. Again, it brightened up the photo a little bit and I can apply that. And I've got different textures, so now I've image corrected. I can go through the different textures that they have available. Uh, let's see, I'll pick one here. And as you apply that, see the effect that it puts in place. Again, you can dial that effect down just by using the various sliders available for that effect. And you can see how quick and easy it is to actually go through and apply a multitude of styles and it's nice that they're arranged by category. I actually go through and find different items I'm looking for once you're finished and if you don't like an effect you can simply back out of it or undo. Right, and once you're done you can actually go and save the image. You have the option to save it to your photo album, to your documents, or again to the clipboard and then they also have the social media options you would expect. So Flickr, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, and even email. So I'll go ahead and just save this to my photo album. And on top of that, not only can you save your image out, what I really like about this is if that combination of effects is really good, I can actually save it off as a preset. So that's what I've done here. And saving it off as a preset is as simple as hitting the plus symbol. You can say it, save as a preset. Hey, I'll just leave this with the generic name preset one. Hey, and then there it is. If I want to use it again, I can actually go and open up a different photo. So I'll pick a different image here. So here's a different image and with one click or one press on the touchpad, takes a couple moments and then that effect will be applied to this image and then I can turn around and save that as well. So I think the folks at MacFun have done an excellent job with their iPad application. I believe it's going to be easy and accessible for consumers and photo enthusiasts alike. The fact that you can actually go through and quickly apply various styles and also adjust them to your heart's content is a wonderful thing, but I like the fact that you can actually go and create your own presets. I personally would like to see in future versions the ability to do a little bit more with the effects. And what I mean by that is to stretch or move the placement of effect or maybe what would be really cool is the ability to kind of brush it in or brush it out. I noticed with some effects like the stars or even the fire a couple times it covered the subject's face in my photo and I'd like to change that but the fact that I can dial in and out works really well. So overall great job I'd highly recommend it. Again my name is AJ Wood you can catch me online at ajwood.com. This has been a minty fresh app review for the good folks at TechMento. 
I'll see you soon. Tech Mental. Menti Fresh.